Welcome to Maytrack. Here you see the account portal. This is where all your devices are listed. If you double click the icon, you'll see more information about each device. This includes last read time, which is when the device last updated, as well as the address of where the device is currently located. If you click listed devices, you'll see a complete list of all the active devices on your account. Here you see the IMEI numbers, the type of device, and the date it was added to your account. Here you will see the contacts for the alert settings that you have set up. To change your password, enter your old password followed by the new desired password. To change your alert settings, select the vehicle or device, check or uncheck the boxes corresponding with the alerts that you would like to turn on or off. You can have a limit for speed alert as well as a low battery alert. Click submit. To change the time zone, look at the cheat sheet provided and click the box with the corresponding time. Here, you can add a contact for the alerts. This can be for SMS, email, or both. Enter your phone number, your cell carrier, and click Add SMS. Then, enter your email and click Add Email. To edit a vehicle, simply check the Edit Driver box, select the vehicle that you would like to edit, and rename it as desired. Click Update Vehicle when the changes are complete. If you'd like to add a driver, select the vehicle IMEI number from the drop-down menu, enter the new vehicle name, and select an icon if desired. Then click Add New Vehicle. View and Edit Subgroup. Here, you can add a subgroup, edit a subgroup, or delete a subgroup. To add a subgroup, name the subgroup. Then select the vehicles that you would like to include in the new subgroup. If you'd like to delete a subgroup, simply select the subgroup from the drop-down menu. To edit a subgroup, check the vehicles that you would like to include or omit from the group. If you'd like to add a user associated with your account, check the box for Add User. Include the account user ID, user email, and a new password for that user. You can check the boxes which will apply privileges to the user as desired. Click Create User. You can also edit and delete user permissions as well as edit a sub-user group. Here you can see the services that were provided for each vehicle. Select the vehicle from the drop-down menu and here you can see what services were rendered. To create a geofence, enter an address as the center point and move the red icon at least a half mile away for the radius of the geofence. You can create or delete geofences as desired. For HOS users, click Sync Vehicles and all of your vehicles will be synced. HOS Admin will enable you to view the DOT Inspection tab, User Management, where you can add new users by adding an account username, a user email, as well as a new password. This new user will then be able to log in to the app on their phones. To edit an HOS user, select the user from the drop-down menu and enter a new password for that user. Click Update. To assign a user to a vehicle, select the user on the left and select the device or vehicle on the right-hand side. Click Assign. Here you will also see the mobile list, bulk mail, here you will see suggestions. And finally, here you will see a vehicle report. Select the desired vehicle from the drop-down menu as well as the date and a vehicle report will appear. To go back to the main account portal screen, simply click the back button. To track history, enter the start date, the end date, select the driver, select the data point, click submit. A track history report will be generated. Here you can see the points where the driver was in motion and stopping. It will include the addresses as well as the device name. For HOS users, you can use the dispatch menu features as well. To generate a report, enter the start date, the end date, the driver or device, and the data points. Here you will see an entire travel log report, including the addresses, times, battery life, mileage, speed, etc. You can export this document as an Excel, CSV file, or a PDF. You can also generate an IFTA report. For travel log history, select the driver or device, select the date, 
that you would like the report. And here you will see a report is generated. Here you have a travel start stop report. Select the vehicle, select your date, click submit. This will show you the duration of stops in minutes as well as the time of the stop and the location. A state mileage report can also be generated by selecting the start and end dates as well as the driver. Click submit. You can generate a mileage report by selecting the start and end dates as well as the driver. Here you will see the start miles, end miles, and the total miles traveled during this time period. Fuel report. Select your start date and your end date as well as the driver. Here you can edit the fuel data. To generate a DTC report, select the start and end dates, select the driver, click submit. If a DTC report is available, it will be shown here. On the account portal, you will also find an online manual. You can see the current locations of all of your devices, as well as the last 24 hours for a specific vehicle. This will show you the route and stops that a specific vehicle has taken. In addition, you have the option of viewing the account portal in a map view or satellite view. As you can see, the map on the account portal is interactive. You can zoom in and zoom out to get a closer or further look from your devices. We hope this has been helpful for you, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're here to help. Thank you, and have a great day.